huge. How do you defeat it? That will be for you to decide. <laughs> this hunt is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? Just done it. Um... Oh my god. Wrong button. You're not gonna be the one to stop me. survive that. Okay. Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. Okay. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight your, tribe. Right in your face. My yep. tribe? I'm immune to that. <laughs> you said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh. Such as? <laughs> I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I'll see you at Mother's Heart, then. You will. Back to the camp. Oh, skill points.
Oh, I got a reward box. Travel pack. Hey, Drorlov. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you doing? How have you been? But I do have a fast travel pack. What are you talking about? Well, I guess I haven't unlocked it yet. Okay. Go. Was never here. Doing great, nice. For later. That's good to hear. Yeah, my inventory was full with the fast travel packs. It showed I had twenty out of twenty. Or maybe just full with something else. Mm. Let's try it out. Yeah, maybe I did misunderstand that. Oh no! There we go. Like the rip. Okay. Oh, it showed the slots. 20 out of 20 slots. That's what it was. Craft, always craft if you can. Yeah. Do that. Also, I think, uh,. Wait, these things... Disassemble those. That's also a good idea, right? If I won't use them, just disassemble them. It's a gift. Yeah, I know. These... that many things to craft right now, do I? Oh wait, right! I forgot this menu, right! This is a thing. I completely forgot about the existence of this one. I forgot about that one here. Oh. Now I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Uh, 30 arrows. called mothers embrace and they call you motherless i guess that's why they don't want me to live there yes rude as they I are yes it's 
louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. Mm, okay. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time. And you'll grow fond of it. As I was. Back when I was at the tribe. Are you sure they're going to let me in? <laughs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Uh. Take this, too. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. Hey, John. No. Hello. You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace mm. the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. This game's good. Until now I can do it. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. No, Dad. A good riddance? Oh my god. No. It's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. And you. To let him go for now i was wondering like proving. those answers better be After worth that, it i'll see where his trail leads why can't i track him now how did he avoid my gadget Plot reasons, but, but you will turn back outcast or bleed. Your choice. Make way, make way. Brave, hey. stand aside. She is welcome Grandma. here. I'm gonna call her Grandma. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been I have adopted for this her as my grandma. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. 
Karja. But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. <laughs> we will talk later. <laughs> There's gotta the be the dude protect. that we saved or something. What is going on? Big strength and yelled at him. How did that go? Did that shit wink at me? So, uh, you guys come here often? Why do you look so sad? Hot as a forest fire. Hey, good talk. Love socializing. You do you, guys. You do you. It's you, isn't it? Stop. Oh, it is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. I see you don't recognize me. You still look well, the same. What are you talking about? Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. Aww. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. How do you get the measurements? I don't know. This is no effect. There. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers so a some tribe, advantage. Everybody's hungry. It's always they all have the same size. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you Oof. any longer. Oof. Head for the matriarch's lodge God, if you want right to now. find Tirsa. Didn't really eat breakfast. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe. Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Who do those cards think they are? Coming here after, after everything they did? Time for me to go.
Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, I'm hungry. Can I eat? I guess not. Ah, this is the most fun I've had in months. <laughs> nice. I'm just gonna stand here alone. Be a loner. Hopefully, nobody talks to me. That dude's alright over there. Interesting. John, get down from there. Bad enough, you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Get down from there, now! Oh, that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head! What I want is for you to climb down! What you want is for me to have no fun at all! Fine! Stay up on the roof all night if you want! Yeah, I will! I wasn't drunk when I ran the proving. I'm out of one. Can I get up there? Who climbs better than Doom? I don't feel so good. Okay. Listen carefully now. Oh. For you'll have to Story time. Gone. The outcast girl the In wind. the beginning, lands are Lord, was all gone. life away. came from all mother. People, machines, and beasts, all were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These the machine. Oh, us with a raid! Thank you so much. Thank you. To make them a new world, better than the one all mother provided. Thank you. How are you doing today? Welcome. Welcome everybody. They told the Faithless they would do all the work for them. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so, the Faithless left with the machines. We're here in story Only time. the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with all mother. At first, the machines did as they had promised. They built cities, great and terrible. Monuments Almost done with Ghost of Tsushima. Nice. But they would not serve the faithless for long. How much do you have left? A king rose up among the machines. A machine more powerful than any other. The Metal Devil. And then the faithless served him. Served the machines. That was not enough for the Metal Devil. He wanted all to serve him and tried to tempt the true children away from All Mother. They would not go. They gathered on the mountainside to cling to her and prayed more devoted than ever. The Metal Devil raged louder than thunder. In his fury, he came to confront All Mother, intending to kill her. She struck him down forever. As you know, for his lifeless body is up there still. Frozen in shame and defeat. that person <laughs> next to the Aloy's machines like... were driven mad by the death of their king, and their minds became as wild as beasts. The faithless abandoned their cities, forced to wander the world without the care of the machines. Only we remain the true children of all mother. Only us. We built all this with the hands that she gave us. Machines are to be hunted. Metal to be used for scrap, for craft, but never to be adored. And we stay true to her laws, resolute in our prayers, don't we? For the dangers are never over. Still the faithless envy our sacred land and covet it. And year upon year, the machine's anger grows, searching for little Nora boys and girls who have not behaved. <gasps> what? Is that a machine among us now? No, no. These old eyes are mistaken. Interesting. Listen carefully now, Carter. For you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. 
Oh, it, tomorrow should be the end. Nice. Nice. How long is Ghost of Tsushima? Aloy, over here. Okay. Oh, it's you. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? 30 ish, maybe 40 hours? Oh, how okay. generous of you to talk to me now. <laughs> Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. Mm -hmm. And if stuff, you yeah. need Does any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth a is, lot. I get okay. lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. You can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. I'll give you my best prices, I promise. Mm, there's some rope caster. More bow. Do I want a new bow? Hmm. No, I don't think so. Not yet. Uh, what else can I buy? Sample box. Uh -huh. Always happy to take your shards. <laughs> I didn't give you any shards. I was free. Complimentary. Don't, don't worry, pa Patrick. Usually when mods see a spoiler, if somebody tries to spoil, it is taken care of. So people don't get spoiled. Oh, I hear we try to not spoil each other. It is harder for me to not spoil games like that I've played before. But even then, I still try to talk with the game basically i don't try to talk more than we've already seen in a moment we shall bless the proving and the spoilers first, exactly we have guests to welcome for two years we have been at peace with a card job it is time to restore Unless our bonds spoil of trade the with dark later. these envoys Thanks, come to us under a banner of peace <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Earth. and slavers! Slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold, your fruit. Nor hold your fruit. Nor oh. Hold your fruit. Nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja, so I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. Raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the card game. But the 13th king is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> The people of the Nora on the eve of your proving, no, the Karja stands with you. Alien. Unknown device detected. You 
have nurtured. It's for the Take their places among your the secure players. network. The path should be we left join your well then. But they will He's stand wearing a focus, tall in the sun. just like mine. I am You're the only other your... person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, <laughs> forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, oh, yeah. I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah! What's wrong? Apologies. Ah, uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. That's not good. Wait! No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> That's not nice. Hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Who are the Asaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. You know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. Hey, thanks for the lore, Kalbatronos. Thank you. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah. I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. <laughs> we know well, the nothing way I hear it, 15, point. 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. 
But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. <laughs> right. Believe me. So what's making it happen? And no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an I'm invitation. actually thinking I, I've never been to Meridian. But I don't think Meridian was on the border. I don't think that was the first settlement. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. Because it didn't seem like it was that big. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. Okay. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. Yeah, I I, I can't remember. I don't remember things like, like that. More trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah. Hard to say. I don't really remember details. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? <laughs> I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours yeah, the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Money exactly pleasure. the exactly. skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. Also makes it more he's interesting. He's a loyal companion, you don't remember cares for his family, stuff. holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what? All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing too. So, uh, see you around, maybe. You do know she's still basically a kid, right? Invisible wall! Yay! It's for the goddess to judge this target, not me. The past should be left in the past. I want to talk to Grandma. It's not gonna happen. Okay. Just... Oh. Am I late? Best start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Which one's mine? Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy. Sisters. Aspirants, 
Before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. Oh. In her honor, light its flame. Thanks, Grandma. This is for me, for all I did to make it here, and the answers I'll get after I win the proving. All oh, mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So. From one to another passes the chain of love. There's Owen. I have some questions for him. I'll just leave him alone. I heard you'll ask for a mate blessing if he wins. But not with his girl, with her sister. Imagine. Uh. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, uh, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Mm -hmm. Sure. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain, or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl! I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. <laughs> He's getting worked up. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Eren needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Mm. Always best to make every day count. He's not shady at all. Oh, Grandma. Aloy, now that the blessing has been made, you and I finally have a moment to speak. I hope the ceremony wasn't too unpleasant for you, given your circumstances. My circumstances are that I'm here to win the proving. Not stand around muttering Nora prayers and lighting Nora prayer lanterns. Of course. Though, it pains me that your years of isolation from the tribe have spoiled what is for us a ritual of great beauty. Maybe isolation has given me the clearer view. A concern for results, not rituals. Whatever your view, it is yours. And I will respect it. I imagine you must have questions. It surprises me the tribe lets outcasts run in the Proving. 
It's not like the Nora to be so hospitable. It has always been law that any child outcast has this right as a means to Don't rejoin be rude the tribe. To grandma, I'm not. So far as I know, however, Yet. you are the first ever to exercise this right. I'm not surprised. I doubt many outcast children survive long enough in the wilds to come of age. I think rather it is because child outcasts are so rare. In all my years, I've only known of one other child who was cast out. A boy of 13 who killed his mother. But at the proving five years later, he did not appear. No, well, I'd be surprised if he survived very long on his own. But at least he had a chance. Other tribes would have simply executed him. It may be hard for you to accept, Aloy. But the practice of shunning is, relatively speaking, humane. Oh, is it? Try it out for 18 years, Tirsa, and then let me know what you think. Why was I made an outcast at birth, Tirsa? What crime could I have committed even before I was born? Aloy, this is not a question I can answer. Why not? It's simple enough. And what about my mother? Is she here tonight, watching me? Or is she dead? Is she here? Or nowhere? I am sure your mother is here with us, if only in spirit. <laughs> That's not really an answer, is it? Just so you know, Tirsa, the reason I'm here is to get answers, real ones. And when I win the proving, I will demand them. I know, Aloy. I would expect nothing less. Hmm. What about Rost? Why was he made an outcast? So, he never told you? He said he swore an oath never to speak of it. Yes. As did I, and the other matriarchs. <sighs> I'm sorry, Aloy. But Rost's past is another secret I must keep from you. I love secrets. Rost told me that matriarchs don't just lead the tribe. What else do you do? We teach. Offer counsel. Give blessings. When necessary, we judge. Our only concern is the welfare of the tribe. Among our number this year, we count three high matriarchs and some thirty lesser matriarchs. What's the difference? Matriarchs are grandmothers with two generations of living progeny. But a high matriarch is a great-grandmother with three or more generations to her name. Thus do we speak for generations, lending our opinions weight. The high matriarchs, most of all. So, the more children you have, the more authority you get? I guess that's one way to decide who leads a tribe. Why would there be any other? Why does Lanzara hate me so much? She is a woman of extreme opinions. More than that, I cannot that say. That is the weirdest way. It's not my fault that I was born. I've ever heard or that the matriarchs electing leaders to cast me out. I side with you Just in this matter. Get a bunch of children. But there let the are children have differences children. of opinion. That the children and are going to have children. The high matriarchs require the children of the children are going to have children children. I should and be you're going. a leader. <laughs> I'm sorry if I've been too harsh. It's just I've wanted answers for so long. I know, child. You're not the only one who's waited years for this day. I will be praying for your success. That blessing wasn't bad. Nice and short, anyway. But I know a half dozen Asaram tinkers who could put on a better fireworks show. Oops. I hope I'm not throwing a wet blanket on your sacred ritual. It was nice. Really. Hmm. Tell me about Olin again. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. I've no. Have you already talked about that? Any question? No. I want to ask you about. Ask him. Yeah, well. Okay. Your blessing was most illuminating. I've never seen its like. A rare gift in Heller. Who's Heller? But you don't believe in all mother, do you? Usually the, the distance between our tribes shrouds Nora ways from Karja eyes. But here among you, I see a beauty that shines true. Perhaps Naman is right after all, that the sun's light brightens all lands and all peoples. Who's Naman? One of my brethren, who believes the sky is wide enough 
for the faiths of all tribes. Finally, somebody with a brain. Who is the Sun King you speak for? His luminance, Avad, is the 14th king of the Radiant Line. His light envelops the sky and everything beneath it. He is the chosen of the sun. By his divine rule, we are given sight and purpose. You speak highly of him. Do you know him well? By his nature, he is unknowable and infallible. We are his instruments, not his companions. I have been in his presence, but we draw down our hoods so as not to behold his light directly. He's the sun, he has total power, and no friends. That couldn't go wrong. If your sun kings are so infallible, how do you explain the crimes of the last king? Uh, well, the sun's uh, glory well. is a great and brazen crown for a vessel as small as a man. If the vessel is flawed, indeed in the burial caves, one can see the skulls of the past kings are cracked, trialed and fired in the sun's kiln. That can be too much for any man to bear, even a ruler of men. So the sun can make bad choices like anyone else? Oh, no, no, no. Hey, Marco. Has there ever been a sun queen? Uh, many wives and consorts, of course. Or, <laughs> General oh, Kenobi? you mean for the sun <laughs> to choose a queen? <laughs> this has not happened. Why not? The sun is masculine, of course, and, and so would choose its heirs thus. Um, it's a light in the sky. I've never seen anything dangling from it. I don't know if you've noticed, but women run things around here? Well, Avad took a woman as captain of his vanguard, the first to hold such an honor. You mean Aaron's sister, Ursa. From what he told me, she sounds formidable. Oh, formidable indeed. A woman and an outsider as well. She might make a fine sun queen, given a chance. A sun queen? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm glad I'm cracking him up. At least he gets a laugh. Who are you, sun priest? <laughs> I am the Reverend to read. The glory of the Karja is the sun's glory, reflected. We sun priests are but glimmers of its great light. You just said a lot, but you didn't tell me anything. All right? <laughs> My apologies. Oh my god. My this guy. duty is to carry out the will of the sun by serving its emissary among us, the Sun King. I comfort those who walk by the light of day, and I travel to those in far reaches whom the light barely touches, bearing warmth. So you live in Meridian? I do. Where better to mark the sun's divine passage than where the sandstone glows in the light of its passing? I was raised in the Mesa's great shade, its wild bird markets and metal cellars, spices and colored silks. Sounds impressive. Oh, you should behold it. And you can if you make the journey. At his luminance's order, we have flung its gates open to all. Any Nora who leaves the sacred land becomes an exile. But hey, who knows where hmm. I'll end up. Well, while we're at it... Did you come all this way wait. just to deliver your Sun King's speech? It is my duty, and also my honor, to carry the light of atonement to those we overshadowed and wronged. I swallowed my fear, but it reemerged. I am glad Erend Van Guardsman made this journey. He is my shield, a good man. Why were the Karja at war with the Nora? Under the 13th mm -hmm. Sun King, the Karja had no peace with any tribe. His luminance has sent those days to dusk. We must yes, renew I the light Yes, I finished Dragon Age Inquisition us, yesterday. Though yep. few volunteered to come here. The North that was scary. a ride. <laughs> They're good at making people feel unwelcome. It's said one soldier died for every Nora taken alive. But <laughs> I see you can be as calm as you are fierce. Yeah. This has been illuminating, but I mm -hmm. should get going. You have already been blessed, but may the dawn find you, the day warm you, and the dusk have light to guide your path. Okay. Good job. Wait, has that dude climbed off the roof yet? I don't know where that was. 
it was on the other side. I want to dance too. Show off my exile dance moves. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Rude. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're... you're very present here! Know her battle Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. Oh my god, just give her a break. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from Love where it. that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. We saw you talking with the outsiders. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? Can I just punch him? Are you gonna let Boss talk to you that way? I Where's wouldn't. your bite, outcast? Or did you need my permission to speak in the presence of a true Nora? My god, just Aww, punch him in the face. You even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah, the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? Hmm. I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. Oh, You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, the outcast. Person. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. <clears throat> You're playing for the first time? This part, no, but later on I will be playing for the first time. Nice I never job finished handling the game. Bust. That should keep Didn't him even quiet until morning, through it. anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. Hey. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. <laughs> Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. Now that is some good rivalry. Without being a dangus. So, your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? Oh, thanks, Matko. Thank you. Thanks for the lurk. Have a good You've one. You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. Yeah, Vala's great. It has... certain charms. <clears throat> Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. 